let's talk about filtering in Mach 5.3. We've created a stack of oscillators with a lot of high frequency content, a whole bunch of sawtooths. So now let's apply a filter to that because that's, that's the whole point of creating something with a lot of upper harmonics is we're gonna filter it. So down here in the key group section, we have uh, these two buttons, which say filter one and filter two. And so when filter one is selected, then this menu allows you to select what filter you want on filter number one. So I'm going to select um, res low pass. And so right away, we can actually move this cutoff frequency knob. And here a nice resonant low pass filter. Uh, moving the cutoff knob uh, with your mouse gets kind of boring after a while, so uh, let's add a, a filter envelope to that. And down here uh, in the modulation section, it automatically comes up with filter envelope. And if that's not there, you can move around these tabs and oh, here's the filter envelope tab. And right now there's no modulation from the envelope being applied to the filter, so let's change that. So positive modulation. <laughs> Let's, let's go a little crazy here. Let's turn this down, turn up the intensity. That's positive modulation. And you can also just invert the modulation by because this knob is bipolar. Or if you like, uh, we can disable that modulation just by, you can keep it there and just disable it. Let's add a, an, uh, an LFO. And of course, that's just one kind of filter type. That's just, uh, and there's a lot available here, including some from the expander. And you have two filters that, that you can run simultaneously. So you can mix and match these for different filter combinations. That's just built in right into the key group section here.